Okay, folks. Let's see if we can get this thing rolling. Maybe next time it'll go a little smoother. <laughs> Never know. Still a noob trying to figure out how to do this. So, so uh, back to the next installment of Patton's Best. And uh, if you guys tuned in yesterday, we um, make sure everything's good on the screen there. Yeah, it looks like it. We could probably tinker with this a little bit more. You guys don't need to see all this stuff on the bottom. Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. I swear I didn't change it from yesterday. I'll take a look and see if it was... Uh, if that adjusts it so you guys can get as big a view as you can. Come on, show me the other screen. It's like a 30 second delay or something like that. Yeah, that's good. So I had every intention to do some painting tonight. We just came back from the gym and I'm twitchy. So, we're just going to kill some Germans instead. And uh, brought you guys along with me. So, last time we left off, we got um, our Sherman tank named Last Man Standing. And um, my commander was injured and spent a couple days in the hospital. Um, maybe six days, something like that. Four to six days. And he's back. And um, I did watch a couple of tutorials on, um, that weren't available when I first played this game about a year and a half ago to kind of uh, help me through. And I, found, I saw a couple of things that I didn't, wasn't aware of, so hopefully we can put those things to good use. And if the, this day has any, is anything like the previous one, uh, we had some close calls for sure uh, yesterday. So even though um, I've got a couple of vehicles with me, uh, which are not shown on this screen, um, normally running a platoon of three tanks, um, myself being in one of them, it definitely had some close calls. And um, yeah, the one time that I did not um, button up when I was in the... I, I, I just goofed. Uh, I meant everything to do it, but... Uh, I didn't button up when there was a, a armored car with a 75 millimeter uh, gun, and he fired an HE round, and my commander did not do well. And by the way, the settings is this is, if the commander dies, the game's over. So I need to protect him. So with that in mind, let's assign these skills here, okay? And. Um, All right, let's get this mouse out of the way because it's not really that useful. Yeah, it's not useful at all. Get away. Okay. Uh, Gordon Swanson. He doesn't have a nickname yet. Um, let's add a new skill. Experienced gunner, fire spotter. That's handy. Driver direction. That's even handier. Explorer. Greater chance of finding a crossing point. Tactical retreat, bonus to retreat. Primo Victoria, ruthless expert in close combat. I want to be able to have something that helps me escape. Okay, when hatch is open, slightly decreases chance of injury or death from incoming firepower attacks. That's probably useful one. Gymnast also increases my chance of bailing out. And I can only pick one. Chance to increase to rescue an unconscious crew when bailing out. I'm going to, um, we're going to do quick reflexes, okay? And, um, yeah, as a matter of fact, this game actually has a tutorial, which I was not aware of when I started playing it a couple days ago. Again, I hadn't played it in about a year. And um, they've added a lot of things. I think the first the f game first came out, it only had like three campaigns. 
Uh, now, uh, and then I played it a little bit later. It had like 12, and now it's got 57 campaigns. So we got all kinds of crazy stuff that, that are available. I did gain a Purple Heart, which is, you know, uh, not something you want to win. Um, a good day is never winning a Purple Heart. Uh, okay, the Gunner has two advancements. Let's see what he can get. Already got crack shot. Basic gyro use allows the crewman to use the gyro stabilizer on a gun. Well, I don't know if it has one or not. Steady hands reduces the movement penalty when firing a machine gun. That's handy. That's flamethrower, eagle eyed, and when hatch is open, he doesn't have a hatch right now. And quick reflexes helps him escape. Well, at some point, I'm probably going to get a gyro. So let's go ahead and add that right now. Okay. And if somebody knows how to use a gyro, it's him. And we're going to do steady hands. Okay. Loader. Has no skills. Interesting. What we want is ammo scrounger for him and fast hands. That's a grit skill. That's a knowledge skill. Add knowledge. And then which one of the two we're going to pick? Ammo scrounger increases rare ammo. So it means more of those, um, not the canister, but the shrapnel rounds. But I'm going to do fast hands. Chance of rate of fire. Okay. Okay. Moving right along to the driver. He's got three things he can do. Sticky situation. Okay. Three specialists. Vehicle specialist. Small bonus attacks against vehicle. Lightning reflexes. Hatches open. Spray and pray. Only a scratch. Okay. How about lead foot? Okay. Driving a fast tank or a fast wheeled vehicle? I believe mine is a fast tank. I'm going to check. Um, escape. I believe the fact that it says green on tank makes it a fast tank. Okay. So I want to add that skill. It takes a knowledge of five. Okay, so we're going to do that. Okay. Um, add a new skill. No. We're going to add a knowledge, which is four. Yes. Okay, now we'll look for the skill and we will add lead foot. That's literally what his job is to do, is to make sure that he gets into cover. Okay, new skill. Uh, is there anything else here? A jam a weapon, medical experience, firefighter. Fuel saver. No. What's this reverse? Increases chance of a successful reverse move action. I for cover is perception. So let's go ahead and add perception to it. And we'll have to wait until the next day, assuming we get an increase, to add to that. But at least we'll have the skill in the right place. Okay. There's morale of one. Angelo. What's up, Angelo? Okay. Hey, Nordic. Welcome back. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into.
Okay, um, and back out, and the assistant driver, oh, he doesn't have jack, yeah, he doesn't have anything, so we need to, um, let's bump his perception up. Okay. Maybe tigers and panthers. Much more likely to have panthers than tigers if the game is realistic. Significantly more common. Significantly more common. So I did um, watch a couple of videos that they had posted on this by the guy who created it. Um, that weren't available the last time I played it. And, um, and I found some, some things I didn't know. So, um, things that weren't, uh, necessarily counter, that weren't necessarily intuitive. And, um, oh, the crewman Kutu's in there. Okay, so this is the replacement. That's why I didn't recognize his name. This assistant driver is a new assistant driver. Van. Let's see if we can get his ass killed. You have a 135th scale panther you need to build. I have built one in 135th scale. Um, I bought the I bit the, I, I bit I bought the Tamiya kit Tamiya kit. We used to call him Tamiya, whether it was right or not. We used to call him Tamiya, and um, I just can't seem to be in the center of the freaking screen here. Um, I like where I'm at here, so let me just twist it a little bit. Okay, and uh, it was the Tamiya kit. And there was a, I want to say it was Verlinden, but maybe it wasn't a Verlinden modification for it to make it a Panther D, because I wanted to do one at Kursk. And um, different road wheels with less bolts on them. Um, added some pistol ports. Oh, it was a different turret, actually. The whole turret was different. And I had to um, take off the ball-mounted machine gun in the front and put that and, and basically craft a little sliding pistol port, um, which wasn't really a big thing, but yeah. So I just can't seem to be in the screen. Okay, so if I'm going to stand here, I need to have less of that showing, so I need to turn it like this. Okay. It's not a big deal. It's just so you can tell that I'm not falling asleep. It's like when I blow up, I can, you know, throw my hands up and, you know, get excited. Um, you know, when the time comes. I think this one is a Panther G. It's a late war one. I have a 172nd scale one that I built, and I did ambush camouflage on it. It's the Hasegawa kit. But I will probably, ne I will never build a 135th scale tank again. I can tell you that already. I, I've... That doesn't work for me. I don't mind building models and then, but I want to make sure I use them in, in combat, in a game or something. So, anyways, I digress. Last man standing. All right, we got all the skills done. And today's mission is a battle. You've broken out from the beachhead. Now drive south towards Avranche and Brittany. I've actually never said Avranche before. I've read it many times, but... Your group has been posted to the front line where there is heavy resistance. Break through the enemy defenses and destroy enemy units. There shouldn't be any tigers here. I mean, historically, there weren't any tigers here. Um, and very few panthers, if anybody. So, August 4th, uh, we'll see. Let's not worry about that. Okay, let's see what the autofill recommended loadout. Okay, we like that. I'm going to go ahead and save that loadout. Okay. Uh, accept and continue. Oh, he has no smoke? Well, 
I don't know that I like that. Hold on a second here. Let's toggle the ready rack. Um, I thought about this the other day. I want only AP in the ready rack. Why can't I just... Oh, I have to do it this way? That's awkward. Okay. All right, I want only AP in the ready rack. Um, man, that's a lot of rounds of shrapnel. That's 21 rounds of shrapnel. That's a bit much, believe it or not. Let's drop that down to 15. Why can't I have less rounds there? I'm pressing the right button. Unload for one. Shift for ten. A doesn't do anything. D doesn't do anything either. Okay, clear gun ammo. Jesus. Okay. Um, toggle the ready rack. All right. Maybe that was it. I wasn't on the right thing. Jesus, just not... It's awkward. Okay. Um, I guess the more I do it, the more it'll be familiar with it. AP. We're going to load. Okay. Now we're going to do the autofill recommended. Now we're going to um, toggle it back. That was probably what the problem was. And we need more HE than that because we're going to do the, the advancing fire. We don't need 23 rounds of WP. That's, that's extreme. Um, we're going to toggle that down. 15 of that. Let's add five rounds of smoke. Let's make it six. Shrapnel down to 15. All right. And add more HE. Oh, I don't want extra. That's a lot of rounds of WP. I like that. I have 23 rounds of WP, Jesus. Now my ready rack screwed up again. <sighs> Save loadout. Okay. Accept and continue. WP is basically smoke that burns. At least in ASL. It's a mild smoke, but it also does damage. All right, we have a capture here that's 10 victory points. Have a landmines. Not interested there. We have a swamp that needs to be captured. And there's one to hold down here. All right. What's this zone? Field of crops. Let's 
Let's make sure everybody's crew exposed. At least initially. 100% support, 80% artillery support. All right. Um, we're going to go Q. Recon's only going to take 10 minutes. Let's do a recon. Strength and zone. What kind of units do we have there? Self-propelled AA gun, APC truck. We're going to do advancing fire. Maybe we can nullify some of this stuff and not do any other support. Rick Cundiff. It's common for crews to fire WP. Well, if it's anything like what I have, I got tons of rounds of WP. It's actually embarrassing how many I had. I had to dial some down. Okay, let's proceed. Three rounds HE used. No enemy resistance. Destroy the enemy presence is 10 victory points. I'm going to recon it. Alright, because I need to know what kind of units are in here. APC Infantry Squad. Again, we're just going to go advancing fire. We're not going to do any of the other supports. We may need it later on in the day. Let's proceed. Seven HE rounds. We're going to need to be resupplied pretty soon. All right, we got two units here. One's behind and one's above. Well, we're going to stay crew exposed. Who's the spotter? I wonder if I can rotate twice and then have every, both of them there. Well, we're going to have him spot because he's the assistant driver. Nobody's going to be within the hex in front of me. I don't think that is going to... What kind of terrain am I in? Open ground. Okay. And this is dry ground in a flat zone. Okay. Okay. We're going to have him do spot. We're going to have the driver move. Drive in uh, drive. Let's have the driver operate the gun. Loader is going to reload. Maybe a vehicle. We may need to throw one down at him. Ooh, I wonder if this means I have a gyro, gyro stabilizer. I got a G here. Well, I Pepin knows how to do it. All right. So we have a very small, we have a chance to spot before we actually do our things. Sometimes they appear already. Here we don't know what they are. They're both the same distance from each other. 480 to 960 meters, both of these guys. Okay, let's hope for the best. SMG squad. And a 251.1. Well, the very first thing we're going to do when we get a chance is we're going to button up. So, we need to drive. He's in the woods. And SMG squad is in open ground. So, we're... We're not going to move. That way you increase our chance of getting a gun hit. And we're going to fire something at this SMG squad. Which probably won't do anything, but maybe we can get them to morale check or something like that. Okay? Ah, oh, shit. I pressed the wrong fucking button. I wanted to move the cursor down this, and I pressed to move back or something. 
<sighs> All right, I have another drink. It happened once to me yesterday. Now I'm not going to hit the freaking infantry unit. Well, we're going to draw WP on his ass. Seventy six point five percent chance. That's what I was gonna do anyway, so as long as it hits. No, it missed. I rolled a ninety six point eight. I don't care what I did, I wouldn't have hit with it. Um but there are two other tanks that maybe aren't as incompetent as I am. And uh maybe we'll be able to do something. Let's see what they do. Two firepower. Not much. No. Nope. Oh, I did get a pointer from something else. I was spotted by the 251. Yeah, we're going to need to button up in a moment. Okay. If you go over here to a message... must dismiss messages on so any of those things I'm gonna have to press the space bar to dismiss it which is good okay uh, you're shocked that I'm paying a video game over playing I'm my hands are shaking I I, I stress too much I wanted to paint but I was um, went to the gym and exerted myself too much so um, okay I think that's what we needed to do and this is going to keep me more awake than painting honestly um, alright so button everybody up Commander's going to direct fire. Gunner is going to um, operate the machine gun. At this point, well, there could be somebody in that half track, okay? There could be somebody in that half track. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and operate the gun and have the gun fire at the half track. Uh, turn around. I'm going to stay facing forward, so if that, that crew member... That SMG squad moves forward. I'm going to be able to hose him if he moves into range one. Let's just leave the driver on drive. Loader is going to be on reload. Operate the gun. Okay, that's the plan. Let's see if I don't botch this up. Okay. We're not going to move. Okay. We're going to go to armor piercing, but we're going to rotate. We need to move these things that I'm painting out of the way. I'm clipping it while I'm... You understand that? You got your walking in, which is great exercise. It was overcast and rainy, so no sun or humidity. It was rainy, so no humidity. What are you, what are you trying to say that? <laughs> hey, I can only kill whatever they send me. Um... I've been raped by martyrs. That Panzer IV was pretty nasty, too. Um, although, the finest moment was bending that Stug four over. But, you know, a lot of it is just luck of the Irish, you know. Okay, so we're going to rotate this turret over. Just be careful. Well, I got the hang of it. Okay, we're going to move the target to the half-track. Okay. And we're going to attempt to fire at the target. Oh, it's a lot higher chance than I would have thought. 19.5. Here we go. On the way. Missed. I'm not surprised. But there are two other tanks there. So, let's see what happens. They're firing coaxes. 14 firepower. That's probably bad news for them. Tab to continue. Oh, they nailed them. Well, that's why you bring two other tanks with you. 
Uh, the 251 moves closer. That dirty bastard. Unloaded a rifleman unit. Now we're in trouble. Now we're in trouble. What terrain's it in? Well, at least I attempted to shoot at it. Um, well, the good news is I've got my gun pointed towards him already. The bad news, well, if he's going to Faust me, it doesn't matter if, if he hits me in the front or the back. You know, if you get hit by a Panzerfaust, it doesn't really matter where they hit you. You're toast. Um, I don't want to rotate the hull just to get another hull machine gun in because the problem is, is it's going to um, ruin my chances to hit that infantry. And they need to be taken out like pronto. Yeah. Well, you know, you don't know what... There might have been some interfering terrain. I don't know. They did the right thing. They're like, oh, the tank's there. We can't get away. All right, charge them and drop the freaking thing. And, and they're right. I'm not going to shoot at the 251 now. We're going to shoot at the riflemen. Um, which, by the way, are, are in what terrain? They're in broken ground. Riflemen are moving. Moving in open ground. Okay. Somebody once said that machine guns were better at, um, at taking out infantry. But, man, it's going to be really hard to pass up a freaking shrapnel round at point rank range. And I have two other tanks as well. I'm going to try the shrapnel round, or at least see what my odds are of hitting with it. How about that? Uh, the machine gun's nasty if I get rid of fire. But if I don't get rid of fire, the shrapnel hit is better. So we're going to operate the gun. We're going to reload. Uh, the driver is going to... I don't give a shit what he does. Um, just leave him be. Yeah, I'll leave the assistant driver on that. Um, right. I'm not going to move. Hold on one second. The blueberry monster came and brought me blueberries, so I needed to finish them. Okay. Let's see if they're lucky berries. All right. Um, where the hell was I? Um, okay, we're not going to touch anything because I definitely want to get a hit. I don't want to, like, move forward and, like, not move successfully, and then I won't be able to hit them. Okay. So that's where we're going to leave it at. We're going to fire shrapnel. Um, I want to switch targets to the riflemen. And let's see what their chances are to hit. It's a 61.5. I got to try it. Lucky berries, 20 firepower. That's a hell of a lot more than... Then uh, let's have another lucky berry. Um, that's a lot more than uh, machine gun for sure. Doesn't mean it's going to kill them, but it's a lot more effective. Tab to continue. Plus, I've got two other tanks that also... Of course, the turrets are pointed in the opposite direction. See what they're going to do something creative here. Thirty-two firepower on the riflemen, all told. Killed him. Okay. Twenty-four firepower on the. They fired machine guns at the two fifty-one. I see. Well, what happened to it? I guess it's still there. I'm not going to bother rotating. Direct fire, operate gun, reload. Yeah, everything stays the same. Only thing is we're going to switch to armor piercing. And toggle ready rack use. 
Actually, I'm not going to toggle ready rack use because then I have to reload it and I'm going to forget. Um, I don't care if I don't get multiple. It's three Shermans shooting in a freaking 251. Um, it is hull down, though. Um, to the front. Yeah, we're just going to fire. He has a 39.5 hull down save. Okay, well, next time I'm going to move just so I won't have a chance of the hull down problem. So we're going to continue. And it missed, so it's irrelevant that he was hull down. Okay. Let's see what the other Shermans do. Wow. A Sherman shot the AAMG and destroyed it. Okay. No units in the area. That's what we like to see. I've lost radio communications. Who makes these frickin' radios? And I'm all the way there. I'm gonna wait because I'm not gonna I, I'm gonna I wanna keep radio communication, so we're gonna wait. You remain in place, ready for possible attack. Is it to capture the zone? Friendly forces also captured a zone. Enemy forces have attacked your zone. Oh, and I forgot, and I'm, I bet I'm buttoned up again, aren't I? I gotta remember to do that every time. Well, I can't get killed by artillery fire that way. going to open up. Okay. I'm going to turn my hull towards them. Towards them. We're going to spot. Operate the gun. I'm not going to get a second round, so I'd rather have another spotter out there. We're going to have him drive. No point in his hatch being open. Have him spot as well. All right, let's see what we got. It's a 250 slash 10. That is the smaller half track with a 37 millimeter gun. So, nothing we need to worry about too much, but we do need to get our happy asses inside the tank and close the hatch. Um, right. So, um, we're going to pivot the hull. Okay. And we what terrain am I in open ground so no point chance of doing hull down there's only a 7% chance of going hull down in there I'm going to just what terrain is he in broken ground ha huh, look at that it's considered a German armored car it holds so few people it's considered an armored car I'm not going to fire the gun. My chance to hit is so poor out there after rotating. So we're going to just end the phase. Nah, we're going to end the phase. I was spotted. That's nice. I haven't had a chance to unbutton, so hopefully I don't get killed by a long-range shot with a 37 millimeter. Nothing I could do about it. I didn't have an opportunity. Artillery support attack inbound. I wonder if that's mine or theirs. No, it's mine. Ooh, the priests, priests are all watching. No effect. I guess they shouldn't drink, but we got drink priests that are drinking. Is that a common occurrence? Drinking priests. <laughs> uh, let's button everybody up. I don't care if my chances are not as good to direct fire. I do want. I do not want to take. Anything that I don't need to take. Direct fire. Operate the gun. We're going to reload. We're going to... Let's keep him on drive. Um, I really don't have anything to do for him. Anything for him. Sure, pass ammo. What the hell? Um, 
only if the ready rack is not used. Okay, so if I use the ready rack, it doesn't do any good. I'm probably not going to use the ready rack because it's not a critical situation. Okay. Let's end the phase. Let's not move forward. Let's see if we can get a hit on this guy. Okay. Weapon selected. We're on AP. Fire at the target. 29.5. That's not bad, considering he's all the way out there. Missed him. Not by, not by very much, either. Let's see if the other Shermans are better. No. What changed here? Yeah, still on open ground. I'm not doing anything different the next phase. We're going to let him have another one. Went up a lot. Went up to 64.5. Still missed. What are my guys drinking? All right. Got taken out by another Sherman with a 75. Okay. No enemy units in the area. Well, I was just waiting. I just wanted to get... Um, I wanted to get uh, the radios working again. I have reestablished it. Well, that was the whole point. Friendly units have captured a zone. Okay, so we're back here where it is. All right, so we've got this swamp that we need to capture, right? A marsh. I'm sorry. It's a marsh, not a swamp. What's the difference? The difference is it's called marsh in this game. So if I go through these hills that are up here, there is a higher chance of getting hull down and stuff like that, but it's going to consume more time. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go E. I'm going to do a recon on E. There's a strength of 7. What kind of units are we talking about? Light mist is cleared up. What's here? Artillery, gun, support weapon team, armored car, truck, self-propelled AA gun. Sounds nasty. We're going to do advancing fire. Let's request everything. Okay. Let's see what happens. And let's go back to my tank and unbutton. Okay, so I get an initial chance to spot them. Okay. Go back to three. And... Proceed. What am I going to call for support? Well, if it's any of those things, I want an armor because they're enclosed, and a lot of those things it looks like a crew exposed problem. Seven rounds HE used. Find no enemy. Look at that. It's all mirage. Lost radio communication again. Where are these things made? This is back when they made things in the U.S. and the U.S. stuff was the most reliable. Wow. What's this last zone over here? A capture? Well, if I'm all the way over here, I'm not going all the way around to capture that. We're going to push up through these fields, at least attempt to do that. Let's do a Q. Um, let's leave advancing fire on. Let's do a recon. <laughs> who's there? Or who's supposedly there? Truck, an aircraft gun, tank destroyer, artillery gun. I'm not going to go through the forest. Let's just drop all hell on them. Obviously, you can tell it is wrong lots of times. 
Let's make sure we are still unbuttoned. We are. Oh, armored for sure. Um, maybe tank destroyer, and maybe anti armor. No, I don't want to get stuck with the damn bazooka team. I would rather have an M8 howitzer mortar carriage than a freaking bazooka team. Because if the bazooka the bazooka team's fine, but if he's not within one squ one hex of of whatever he's shooting at, he's just sitting there to get killed. Let's proceed. Completed a whole objective. Okay, so that score down there all the way at the bottom. They never took it. And um, how long does the campaign, this campaign last until I'm dead? It's about 60 days or something like that. I'd be surprised if I make it. Okay. I use one HE round, even though there's tons of things potentially being there. That's weird. And no resistance. Wow. That's crazy. Enemy forces have captured a friendly held zone. I've reestablished... Oh, I, do, I, didn't have re I didn't have the radio up. <laughs> I guess I got lucky. I guess I got lucky. All right, I need, I need to take a bathroom break. I'll be right back. Sherman related news. I was um, watching several videos of how to paint the Sherman, so probably over the weekend, I'm probably not going to do it until then. Probably over the weekend, we'll probably mess with some Shermans. 170 second scale Shermans. And I got a couple of them that are like the wrong scale, so we're going to practice some of the colors. And. Um, to what I'm happy with. I've watched several videos, and there's some folks out there with some pretty cool ideas. So, um, okay, so um, where are we at? We're here. We got radio communication to the headquarters and the battle group. We've got this marsh. Um, I've got to capture it. I'm not going to bother doing a recon because I'm going to send everything in there. Okay, I'm going to. Um, do E. I'm going to do advancing fire. I'm requesting air support. I'm doing artillery support. I'm doing unit support. I'm going to check and make sure we're crew exposed for that initial spot. And we are going to proceed. It's a swamp. Sure, bring something armored in so it can sink nicely. Seven HE rounds. I encounter resistance. Well, that's what we're here for. Oh, there's lots of stuff here. Air support. Good. 
We need it. Is it going to be those P-47s? They were really exec really uh, useful the other day. Okay, trying to spot. Oh, my God, a barn door point-blank range. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> For those of you that do not know what a barn door is, it's also called a Pack 43 and it is an 88 millimeter, but it's not the normal 88 millimeter. It's the 88 millimeter that's on the King Tiger. So it literally can pierce anything, uh, almost anything at long range, maybe not the front of like a JS-2 or something like that. But it's at short range, so it could probably pierce two tanks if they're lined up just right. Wow. Okay, there's your excitement. Well, I'm crew exposed with it. If I survive, I'm going to freaking... Everybody is going to grab anything they can throw at it. You know, machine guns, spray and pray, everything. Because, you know, I got to survive that thing. That's what we're here for, man. That's what we're here for. Pack 43. All right. So I like this pausing because we can talk about stuff and it's not like, you know, it's it's... If you want this to rush through, you're probably in the wrong place. All right, so we, at least it was spotted by the air support. And a 250 slash 9, okay. I'm not worried about that so much as long as I don't get hosed while being crew exposed. Three P-47s. Oh, it's a King Tiger gun, not a Tiger gun. It's a King Tiger gun, a Royal Tiger gun, as they would have said across the pond. Three P-47s. Nail them. 12 firepower, man. We need luck here. <sighs> Destroyed it! Yes! 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 Oh, my... <laughs> That's excellent. Well, there could be more of them out there. And the 250 slash 9 was knocked out. Artillery support. Now there's only two targets. And I got artillery support. All, who puts a barn door in a swamp? Silly Nazis. SMG squad. Okay. Here come the 105s. It was hit by the artillery attack. 11 firepower. They reduced. Okay. And I didn't get support, okay? So I did not get another tank. I don't know what's in the question mark, but I feel pretty happy about what's happening so far. <laughs> Boo, I wanted it to fire at least once. It did. Its ammo went off. You're like an Axis sympathizer. What am I in, a marsh? That's not good. All right. I don't want to ignore this SMG, but I want to turn my front of my hull towards whatever this question mark is, okay? So we're going to leave... Um, I don't necessarily want to move forward because if it's infantry, I'd rather them stay at long range. So we're going to leave the commander on spot. We're going to go ahead and lead him crude exposed. <sighs> The gunner is going to go ahead and he can't spot shit whether he does it or not. So I might as well have him operate the gun. Loader is going to, um, uh, he's a good spotter. Put him on spot. We want to get that question mark spotted. The driver is going to drive. The assistant driver is going to spot as well. And we got to maximize our chances of finding out what the hell that question is. Just for that, I hope a real Koenig's Tiger appears. Well, they shouldn't encounter one over here. They were all the way, they, you know, they were, they were over on the British sector. So I call foul if I find him here. Mr. Doug, welcome back. You just missed a barn door. It was, <laughs> it's a barn door knocking on me. That's a cool looking, 
artillery pe- uh, uh, and a tank gun too. As long as it's not on the cruciform base. It looks stupid on the cruciform base, but... Um, okay. I think we're good there. It's a 250 slash 1. All right. Now we need to hurry up and get inside the tank the first chance we get so we don't get sprayed by machine gun fire. And he may be carrying the squad. Okay. So um, things are looking pretty good as long as more reinforcements don't come in. But let's not brag. Stay humble. All right. Tab to continue. All right. We're going to pivot the hole. Okay. And we're not going to move forward. Let's see what the AP chance is going all the way out there. It's actually not that bad. 15.5. Let me do this. Let me do an escape. Let me um let me toggle ready rack use. And um fire at the target. No, I missed. Okay. It was still a pretty good roll. 20 25.4. That's that's not a bad roll. Okay, let's see what the other buddies do in the same uh Spotted by the 251. Okay, button everybody up. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and direct fire. We're going to operate the gun. We're going to reload. Um, we'll leave him on drive just for yucks. Uh, we'll leave him on. It doesn't really. We'll have him put him on pass ammo. I don't know if it makes much of a difference. Okay. And we're good. Not going to move. Fire AP. I'm on ready rack. There's a 45.5% chance of getting a second round. That's that's pretty freaking good. I don't know if I'm going to get it, but that's some pretty... I don't think I've ever seen it that high on a main armament. So here we go. 74.5. Doesn't mean I'm going to hit. Maintain rate of fire. I kicked up dust around your vehicle. Can you have dust in a marsh? Apparently you can. Um, I'm going to give him another round. It missed, so I've landed one, got a second round off that missed, and now I got rate of fire. I'm going to give him another one. I hit and maintain rate of fire. I don't know if he's hull down or not. F him. And I got another rate of fire. That's three hits on him. And I got a critical hit. Yeah. Um, he's not going to survive this one. He's not going to survive this one. Yeah. Yeah. Like freaking three hits and one of them was critical? Or was it four hits and one of them was critical? Anyways, nobody there. You bet that was destroyed by me. Okay. So now here's what we're going to do. What terrain are these guys in? They're dug in in the woods. All right. So we're going to switch to operate machine gun. We're going to have him manage the ready rack so we can put more AP rounds in there. You can see I'm low on HE. We're going to have to do a resupply soon. Um, we're going to have the driver drive. We have the assistant driver. leave him on spot even though he can't actually I'm going to put him on operate machine gun in case that squad decides to come out in the open okay that's good all right we need to operate the ready rack remove add round so okay we got the ready rack filled Okay, we're going to end the phase. All right, we're going to pivot the hull. Okay, which I guess there's a 2.6% chance of it bogging every time I turn. 
So that didn't happen. Okay, so we're done with that. And we're going to fire the coax. And there's a 35% chance of getting ready to fire on it. Honestly, I thought the chance would have been worse than that. To get a 14.9% on a partial after I rotated the hull. No effect, but I got ready to fire. Full effect, four firepower. Okay, let's see what the other guys do. Twenty-two firepower. I guess they did really well. Destroyed them. Okay. Nobody in the area. Captured it. I captured it and, like, there's nobody here. Friendly zone. Wow. We got all these isolated things here. I don't think I can resupply. Maybe I can. I need to get more HE. Fifteen minutes later. Pff, apply saved loadout. Loadout. So based on what I've seen, I'm going to, let's take some shrapnel off, okay? Let's do 10 shrapnels. Let's do eight white phosphorus and the rest is HE. I'd say I have too much AP, but man, I, I launched like six freaking rounds out. Five or six rounds on that one. Kind of overkill, but it was fun to do. Bog chance was higher on a forward move. Yeah, I would imagine so, because it is a swamp that we're in. Okay, let's tab and continue. Enemy forces captured, friendly zones captured. Okay. I am not going to walk my, drive my happy ass all the way over here to capture that. I'm going to scroll the board up, okay? And, but we're going to be careful about it. We are going to do a recon. So we can gauge. Let's uh, unbutton everybody. So the other thing I found out, if you do a rest, these minus ones and stuff, you can actually remove them um, after a while. That's just fatigue. So, um, that's, I wouldn't have known that. Um, okay, we're going to go in the cure direction of Q. We're going to do a recon. <laughs> Strength in zone three. Okay. Assault gun and two APCs. Let's rain hellfire on these guys. How are we? Maybe 40% of the way through the day? Are we unbuttoned? No, we're buttoned up. There we go. I need that initial spot. Could make a difference. Helps you make decisions. Oh, yeah, we want armored. Five HE rounds. No enemy resistance. And your new map area. Okay, well, we got some minefields here. So we're enemy forces have attacked my, my zone. I wonder if I'll get those supports then.
Okay, so I did get a support request. Another M4 Sherman. So now there's four of us. Okay. What are we in? Fields, and I'm hull down to the front. Okay. This is an unspotted enemy, line of sight blocked. I'm not, can I tell what terrain he's in? Dust. He's in dust one. Okay. And this guy is in wooden buildings. So we're hold down to the front. That's not going to help because he's off to the side. All right. Let's see if the commander on spot. Let's leave the gunner on. Um, now, let's think about this. Let's put him on operate gun. We'll leave the loader on spot. We'll do the driver on drive. We'll do the assistant driver on spot, right? Might as well close his hatch, because if he's driving, he's not going to spot anything. So there's no point in him, you know, getting cream for no reason whatsoever. No benefit. Let's close his hatch. I wouldn't mind doing hold down in the same zone I'm in. But let's just... We need, to, we need to find out what that... Oh, I'm not going to see him probably because he's out of the zone. He's line of sight's blocked. Well, maybe one of my other Shermans can spot him. Because just because these Shermans are right next to me doesn't mean they're literally on top of me. This area is 120 meters. We're just all in that one zone. So. Smoke break. Saw your video from Historicon and spotted a couple guys used to game with. Scott and Eric, it's a small world. Oh, the Greys? Um, I just met Eric for the first time, but uh, I've gamed with Scott a couple times. Yeah, they're good guys. They are good guys. Um, yeah, those videos are fun to do. We'll be doing those videos on all the shows for sure. Um, I'll hold down to the front. That's not going to do any good. Let's see what happens here. Okay. Oh, there was only a 3% chance of going hold down anyway, so I'm glad I didn't do that. I wasn't focusing on that. Um, let's pivot. Okay. That's as far as we're going to be able to do that. And it's an unspotted target. Can't do anything. We just have to wait it out. And it's still unspotted. Or line of sight is blocked. Uh, I see no reason to do anything different. The chances of going hold down is three, but no percent chance of bogging. I'm just going to sit still. Sherman moves. Air support. Okay. It's a 250 slash 9, spotted by air support. Okay. 1P51. It was knocked out. So he attacked me in my zone with one recon half track. Maybe that's why they lost the war. Smoke break to get rid of minus ones. Oh, yeah. Yep. That's right, resting. Now, here's a dilemma. Here's a dilemma. Here is that one zone that I didn't want to attack earlier. Um, what is this, a capture as well? That's a capture, and that's a capture. I'm not going to go through minefields. I have no idea what the chances are of getting hit by mines. I'm, I have zero interest in finding out. So, these are all friendly zones, at least initially. I can come over here and try to capture that one, and then shoot down the road. Or I can go through the hills and up this way and do that one. This is one, two, three, four zones to take that one. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. But the movement on here is going to be a lot easier. I'm going to backtrack and go over here to the, I guess that would be assuming that north is up, which it probably isn't. Um, 
I'm going to go over here towards the right hand side of the map. Unless my support numbers look crappy. Okay. Um, let's make sure that we're button, buttoned up. That we're unbuttoned. Okay. I'm not worried about 2% at this point. Um, right, we're going to go D. 45 minutes to move through those damn woods. Let's proceed. Not going, I'm not voluntarily going through a minefield. Enemy forces have captured, so they captured that one area back. Friendly zones have captured. Okay. Do the same thing again. Let's go D. Okay, now we're next to this. I'm not going to bother doing a recon because I'm just going to bring it. It, it. It's, what is it? Villages? There's going to be somebody there. There's going to be somebody there. So we're going to go D. We're going to request air support. And these things, even though the odds are really dwindling, I want to at least get a chance of trying to do that. And here we go. Oh, yeah. It's give me. I can still get a tank destroyer doing this. Um, I mean, it's an M10. The 76 millimeter is not that much better. But. Um, 3A Chief for um, advancing fire. Encounter enemy resistance. Air support. No air support. Artillery request. No artillery request. Unit support. I got a unit support. What did we get? There's that Wolverine. There's a Wolverine. Okay. And the Wolverine is hanging out in wooden buildings and he's hull down. We are in open ground. Okay. I don't know what this is. So we're going to do a spot. We're going to do the gunner is going to operate the gun. The loader is going to leave him on spot. The driver is going to go ahead and drive and might as well button up. And the assistant driver will leave him crew exposed. And let's see what we have. Nashorn spotted. D-Van says Nashorn spotted. Who's D-Van? The assistant driver. Does that guy know? So the assistant driver being open spotted a Nashorn. There you go. Tab to continue. What's he in? He's in stone buildings. And Nash Horn at long range in stone buildings. And it's hull down to the front. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a piece of gum. Hold on. Okay, for those of you guys that don't know what an Ashorn is, that's that barn door gun on a hull, you know, like a martyr, except it basically has the best gun of the war for the most part. There's better ones, but they didn't come out in any numbers. All right, and I'm in the open. Hull down to the front. So the front's this way. And I don't know what's over here line of sight blocked. This could be something else that's nasty. What am I in? Open ground? So not much chance of... Oh, I'm in the movement phase right now. Okay. I'm in the movement phase. If I'm going to engage him, I'm not going to do it from here because he's in wooden buildings and he's hauled down to the front. So I need to move. If I'm going to move, 
I'd like to not move towards this thing that isn't concealed. I'd like I'd like to not move here because this could be something nasty. I'm getting closer to him. But if I move here, it's still going to be to the front when I fire on him. So I've got to move here. So we're going to pivot the hole and we're going to try to attempt to move into this zone. Um, it's either that or try to withdraw from the map. And I just don't think that's going to be successful. We need to try to put some pressure on him. Um, M10 will have longer range. Yeah, the thing is... The thing is, I don't know if it can shoot at a range of four. I don't know if it's allowed to shoot at four. But there are three tanks of us, so we're just going to have... I mean, we're going to have to do what it is. You know, it is what it is. So we're going to pivot the hole. Okay. And we're going to move forward. And didn't move a new hex, but at least now I'm treated as being as moving. Okay, so we're going to tab to continue. Oh, what did I get put in? Now I'm in stone buildings. So I'm moving through stone buildings. All right. And this other unit is still blocked. Excellent. All right, so here's what we're going to do is we're going to rotate, rotate the turret. We're going to select the target as a Nashorn. Okay. And we're going to fire smoke at his ass. And at least see what the odds are that. Because that's going to blind him more than the white phosphorus. I just need to blind that hex. Now, if you're playing other games like Advanced Squad Leader and stuff, you could actually try to put smoke in another hex that the thing's not in. But that's like your only option that you have to do. So, uh, I, I guess. I mean, I could sm throw smoke grenades, but I didn't tell my guys to throw smoke grenades. I would have had to tell them that before I knew there was a national in there. So let's see what the chances are of hitting with smoke on them. It ain't bad. Well, we got to do something. Um, yeah, it is open top, so white phosphorus could be nasty. Let's just take a look and see what white phosphorus chance to hit would be. Um, I got to be careful I don't hit the wrong thing. I feel like I gotta hit him with smoke. I feel like I gotta hit him with smoke. Here it goes. Hit him. A 4.4. Let's see what the other guys do. Wolverine moves. I was spotted by the Nashorn. And it moves. That's good. What's this? Field and unspotted? It's moving. It's in fields and line of sight is blocked. Okay. That's that's an improvement on the situation. I'm in stone buildings. So, on one hand, I could just try to find a hold down position in here and face towards him and hold down. God, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. I'm going to want to face towards him anyways. It's either that or move forward. And he has no smoke on him because the smoke was back here. Stone buildings. All right. Well, we're going to put this guy on drive. Um, let's button... Let's leave the commander... Crew exposed and move him to direct f fire, okay? Um, gunner's going to operate the gun. 
we don't need him. We don't need the loader spotting at this point. We need to have him do reload, and we might as well button his ass up. And the assistant driver is really good at finding Nash horns, and he found one, so he can, you know, we'll leave him crew exposed. If he dies, he's just a replacement guy anyways. He's already come in handy. Um, we replaced him with somebody who knows what a hash Nash horn looks like. That's good. Um, okay, we're going to have him direct fire. We're going to operate the gun. We're going to do a reload. Uh, we're going to do a drive. And... Um, I think that's it. It's a 251-1 spotted. Again, it's the assistant guy that's spotted. Maybe I don't want to maybe I don't want him the other guy to come back and relieve this guy. He's a good spotter. Okay, I have a 36.7% chance. Well, we need to pivot the hull first. End of story, right? Okay. Now there's a 36.7% chance of attempting hull down. I feel like I gotta do it. I was unable to move into position. Okay, but at least the line of sight's still blocked. Let's move the turret into... I'm not gonna be distracted by shooting at the 251, okay? I need to keep my eye on the Nash horn. I got lots of guys that can shoot at the 251. Remind me never to ride in a tank with Tony in a war. <laughs> okay. Um, that's it. That's all we can do because we can't spot that thing. I don't want to rotate my turret to try to get a shot at this 251 and then the Nash horn becomes available. So we're just going to leave it like that. And just because I don't have line of sight to him doesn't mean the other tanks don't. Wolverine moves closer. And another Sherman got killed. He, he can't see me, so. <sighs> I'm going to try to get... I'm going to try to get hold down direct fire operate gun and that's just if well, we this guy can hunker down now this guy can can lock his um, we'll put him on pass ammo too right can he pass ammo yeah um, I am not sure if going hold down within this hex would would generate possibly the line of sight opening up to the gun. So we're going to assume that it could. And and I understand that your direct fire is a lot better or it's it's better with crew exposed commanders. So we're going to risk them being crew exposed. Okay, I think we're good here. Now attempt to hold down. Unable to do it. But I still don't have line of sight to him. I'm just not going to switch my gaze over the 251. I'm afraid he's going to eat another Sherman. Two Shermans fired last time, so I suspect that he has line of sight to the Sherman and, M and maybe the M10 as well. M4 got him. Got the Nash horn. Okay, now we can focus on this guy. Okay, now we want to unbutton. Now we want to button up. Everybody's buttoned. Direct fire, operate gun. Reload, drive, yep. Now I'm not worried about hull down. We're going to pivot the hull. And we're going to fire AP from the ready rack. Has a 29.5% chance. Well, only has a half a percent chance to hit. But 
I'm going to fire anyways. Because I may get a reload. I didn't. Okay. It moves away. And it's blocked. Direct fire dram, operate gun. We're going to switch to operate MG. What can he do? Fire at small arms, only point blank range. We'll leave him on um, reload for now so we don't screw that up. Let's have him direct movement. Forward. Okay, well, I don't I don't have a block line of sight, so that didn't do any good. Wolverine moves. 251 moves farther away. Some of the dust has settled. And now he's in buildings. Yeah, he may be just trying to get off the board. That'll work. Um, okay. Direct movement again. Operate MG only because it's more effective um, on the move. So I read in the manuals uh, today. So we're going to do that. We're going to pivot the hull. We're going to move forward. Okay. And we're going to Fire the coax. Why is no crewman? Oh, because it's AAMG. There we go. Not a big chance. There's a 35% chance of getting the second round. No effect. Okay. The other tanks. Wolverine is just racing around. Moves, but not far enough to move the new hex. Okay, now it's hauled down to its front, but it's facing away away from me. Now we will direct fire. Operate the gun. Reload. Yeah. Not going to move. AP. Not a high chance, but maintain rate of fire. Let them have another one. The 75 has been broken. It's the first time I've seen it happen on a Sherm on an American tank. But I got a hit. Got him. And it also destroyed a SMG squad that was with it. Okay. No enemy units remain in the area. And it captured that objective. Okay, now here I am with a, with a broken gunned M4 Sherman, unlike yesterday, um, I still have two other t No, I did lose one tank from that damn Nash one. I've got one M4, and I have low support capability. Eh, lowish. Um, I'm done. I'm not, I'm not going to... I'm not going to advance. I'm not going to keep advancing. I don't have a 75mm gun. Um... If I had a, both Sherman tanks of the other ones with me, I might could consider going forward. Or if I had more support, maybe going forward. But we're good. Had virtual fun. Got to go. Okay. Well, if you have to. So we're going to return to base. It's going to cost me half of my points. But I, I don't want to sit here and defend. And I don't have a freaking main armament. So it is what it is. Nothing. This tank just... 
This must have been made somewhere really poorly because, um, yep. Combat day ended. Three SMG squads, a rifleman, three half tracks of the 251s, one 250, a pack 43, 250 nasty, yeah, some nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. See what we got. The gunner got nothing, so the assistant driver, yeah, he's spotty man. My 75 is repaired. Okay. And the commander went up a level. Day is ended. All right, let's look at our crew. I hope I don't have to replace this guy. This, this guy seems to be on a roll. Got to do what you got to do, smart. Yeah, I, I just, they just didn't have, it just didn't, there's too many things that just weren't working towards it. Um, this is the commander. See what skills he has available. Experienced gunner, experienced driver, fire spotter. That increases chance of direct fire. Driver direction, slightly increased direction movement. Man, that's good. I want both of them. What about this explorer? Finds a crossing. Tactical retreat. No, I don't, I'm not worried about that just yet. Eagle eyed. Hatches open, slightly increased chance to spot and identify enemy units. I like that. Or I can just increase his chance of surviving. Yeah, I got, can't be negative. Okay. Now this assistant driver. See what new skills he has. Probably nothing. Yeah, we're going to want him... Eagle-eyed. What's going to get him on eagle-eyed? Perception 4? Alright, let's give him a perception increase. Mm -hmm. And then for the other skill, let's give him eagle-eyed. Okay. Alright. I got these liquids are going well. No wonder I'm sitting here not moving and I'm drinking stuff. All right, I'll be right back in a moment. Well, I should have worn a diaper. No. Um, not that dedicated. <laughs> it's good to get up once in a while anyways. Um, okay. 
what else do we have here? I like this um, tab to move on. It's a really, it's a little awkward, but um, I don't feel like I'm rushed to read the message really fast and miss out on what it possibly says. Next day, we're going to play another day. Avranches and into Brittany. We've broken out from the beachhead. Now drive south towards Avranche and Brittany. That's the same thing I said last time. Battle. Your group's been posted to the front line where there is heavy resistance. I think that's exactly the same thing, just more of the same. Let's take a look at... Um, Okay, start the day. We're going to um, apply the save loadout. Oh. Why is he missing? There are not enough shrapnel rounds to apply the save loadout. Okay. That's fine. As a matter of fact, we're going to... Um, Unload one of these, unload one of these, unload one of these. Oh, because I didn't save it before. We want to do eight. Eight. And add the HE. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Now we're going to save this loadout. Yeah, I like that. We got AP in the ready rack. I'm happy with that. Okay, accept and continue. It's a rainy day. Sun rises at 438. Tab to continue. Takes 25 minutes to prepare. Slackers. All right, I'm up here. I need to hold that zone. Well, I'm not going to sit back and hold. We'll just advance, and hopefully the lines will hold. What's this? This is a rescue. An allied unit is in trouble. Go to their aid and rescue them from destruction. It was funny. I did one of those one time. I don't think I was online when I did it. But I had to go rescue, like, another tank that was bigger than what I was in. And he was being ambushed by, like, one squad that long range. I'm like, what a sissy. What part of Florida am I in? Gainesville. Gainesville, Florida. That's where we're at. Um, where the weather is like this every day. <laughs> and what do we got up here? And a rescue. So it's two rescues. Okay. Let's do an E. Let's do a recon. Motorcycle team tank destroyer. We're going to do advancing fire. Which will only affect the motorcycle team, or it only affects any infantry. I don't think it affects, affects the tank destroyer. Let's make sure we're unbuttoned. Got to head out. Okay, Nordic. Maybe I'll die while you're not here watching. Oh. Um, maybe Rick can take over if he's around. Uh, let's see here. I really don't want to be killed right off the bat. I'm going to call it all in. Five HE rounds, no enemy resistance. No. Friendly forces capture enemy held zone. Okay, so they went up that way. Let's do Q and a recon. Strength is eight on a stone road. Yeah, you better bet they be have guys there. Two infantry squad self-propelled AA gun. I'm gonna do advancing fire. K. 
Can I even get air support in this heavy rain? Unit support 80. The unit support's pretty high. How about I just do the unit support and call it a day? We're doing advancing fire. Here we go. Six rounds HE. I encounter enemy resistance, okay? Oh boy. And I don't have support. And it looks like I'm surrounded from all sides. Let's hope for infantry. All right. Um, I am hauled down to the front, though. That's good. That's good, because it, it'll help against this guy, maybe. It won't help against these other two, but at least there's a chance of it helping somebody. We're going to keep the commander on crew exposed. Gunner is going to um, operate gun. Loader is going to... Let's have him spot, okay? The driver is going to drive, because we may see something that we need, and let's unbutton and button him up. Um, and the spotter, well, he's my he's my favorite spotter, dude. We're definitely going to have him spot. All right, let's see what we got here. HMG team. Rifleman. And we don't know what that is over there. All right, what's this guy in? Brush. Broken ground. I don't know what this guy is all the way over there, but he's going to be nastier than these other two things to my front. At, he could potentially be nastier. So let's go ahead and pivot the hull. And there's a 37% chance of going hull down. Oh, and I can't do that because I pivoted? Oh. No, it just didn't. It didn't say that. Unable to go in position. Okay. I don't know what the hell it is. What's the chances of hitting with it with WP? Okay. What's the chance of hitting with smoke? Let's um, let's just chill out, and hopefully he hasn't seen me. Let's just chill out. And hopefully he hasn't seen me. Well, they're shooting at that infantry. Four firepower on the rifleman. No effect. Two firepower on the HMG team. Destroyed. Wow. I was spotted by a rifleman, okay? I'm worried about what the hell that is. Unspotted enemy. Let's direct movement. Operate the gun. Spot. Drive. Shut the hatch. Shut the hatch. That thing moves. Odds are I'm going to be able to see him. Let's attempt hold down. Unable to find hold down. got two other tanks here that could potentially shoot at this rifleman. I'm going to sit put. Stay put. It's a Flak Panzer IV mobile wagon. Okay, well we're going to go button up as soon as we can. He's definitely susceptible to getting a 
machine gunned for sure. Eight firepower on the rifleman. Which were destroyed. Good. We got everything. It repositions itself. Okay, let's hit in now. It's in the hills. Alright, let's button everybody up. Okay, we're going to direct fire. Operate the gun. Uh, loader can reload. Assistant driver. Pass ammo. I don't know if it's going to help. We're not going to be crew exposed with, what is it? Mobile Wagen. Mobile Wagen, I believe, it has one gun. It's a 37 millimeter. Yeah, not the quad 20s. The quad 20s would just be horrendous. Okay, but regardless, we don't need to, it's, it's fast firing. We don't need to, um, it's a 37 millimeter auto cannon basically so yeah we don't need to be crew exposed for that and it might actually cause damage to our rear if we were facing the rear um, we don't care about going hull down and that nonsense we just need to go ahead and take care of him as soon as we can okay that's good that's good and we're going to fire on the target with AP using the ready rack which has a 30%, 30.5% chance of getting the second round out. All right, let's fire out. Only has a 5% chance. I wonder why. He's moving, there's dust, heavy rain, and targets in the hills. So the commander's fire direction adds 4%, and the crack shot adds 3.5%. So the question is, is the second subsequent shot going to go up high enough to negate the chance of me risking the gun breaking down? Well, if the gun breaks down in the first engagement after I just fixed it and went back in and the gun breaks down again, then we just, we don't have any, any confidence in our abilities as, a, as, a, as a na an industrialized nation. That's my excuse for saying, yeah, we're going to freaking fire. Ooh, and I rolled a two. A two, which missed, but I got rate of fire. Let's see, it was 0.5. What did it go up to? No, it's still low. It kicked up dust around my vehicle, and it maintained a rate of fire, but it didn't go up anymore. So I'm going to end the attack. I'm not going to keep lobbing shells if they're not going to increase. Okay. sound almost sounds like the it got hit by uh, machine gun fire and didn't penetrate okay it moves farther away okay it's not blocked now we're gonna we're gonna chase his ass okay we're going to direct fire we're going to um, no we're gonna direct movement we need to be able to move forward We operate the machine gun. Loader's gonna reload. Driver's gonna drive. Assistant driver doesn't really matter what I do. Well, we're gonna move forward. Okay, and we're gonna go over here to the coax machine gun. Oh well, there's no line of sight target. Yeah, I was hoping to to move through that. So we're done here. But the other tanks may actually have a shot at them. It moves, but not enough to a new hex. Well, now it's visible. What's it in hills? Direct fire. It's got some armor to it. It's on a Mark IV chassis.
It's a nine and a half chance. I would have hit it with that two percent last time. Here we go. Missed. No rate of fire. Well, maybe the other Sherman's got luckier. I was spotted by the mobile wagon. Moves further away. Well, we're going to have to give him chase. I'm going to want to move within one hex range next time before we stop and start nailing him. Just figured it was worth a shot. Operate MG. Right, end the phase. Um, we're going to pivot. I wish you could move and then pivot, but you can't do that. And move forward. Okay. And we'll fire the coax, even though it probably won't do anything. Oh, I can't shoot at that range. Okay, fair enough. Artillery support attack inbound. Oh, I am getting artillery. It's a howitzer mortar carriage, M8. For those of you guys who do not know, that's a, um, that's a Stuart Hull with a short 75 open topped in there. And they usually have a 50 cal on there, but the stunt... It's, um, yeah, because it has no bow machine gun. So, no effect. It's probably off board or something like that. All right, direct movement, operate MG. Here we go again. Forward. And we're going to fire. Maintain rate of fire. And hit with four firepower. And it's a very slow chance of hitting. Oh my god, he penetrated it. Holy shit. Took him out with a 30 cal from the rear. Nice. I was not expecting that. Enemy forces capture a friendly held zone. Okay, now I am within one of that rescue mission. Well, we're going to do it. I'm, there's no point in wasting time on a recon because I'm going to do advancing fire and all of this stuff. Okay. And let's make sure my crew is crew exposed so I can get an initial spot. Okay. And um, here we go. Yep, one arm support. Three HE rounds. Encounter enemy resistance, I would think so. Okay, there's an M8 Greyhound that's pinned down. And he's got somebody at point blank. Air support. We have air support. Come on. Combat engineer team right next to an M8. Oh, the M8 is hosed. M8 is hosed. That is a... Um, Six-wheeled armored car with I'm um, probably maximum with like 20 millimeters of armor, and it's open top with a 37 millimeter gun and maybe a 50 cal and a AA mount. Against combat engineers, yeah. And a gorilla, and a gorilla is basically like a martyr, but it has a 150 millimeter uh, infantry gun, so it actually could probably hurt us if it hits us. Um, yeah. Oh, and the, and the air support found the gorilla. Good. Two P P thirty eights. I thought. Oh, but it didn't necessarily attack him. The the air support spotted him. They didn't attack him. Is that two gorillas? It might be. Holy shit! That might be a problem. Uh, combat engineer team was attacked by the air attack. 12 firepower. Oh, nail him. Nail him. Oh. Oh, no effect. Oh, more air attack on the combat engineer team. Only four this time. Watch it kill him with a little one. Nope. 
More air attack. Destroyed. Wow. New artillery support. I got a unit support. Which is M4A3 Sherman. And an M4A3 Sherman with, with the wet stowage. So we now have... See, I'm three. There's five Shermans here. One of them with wet stowage. Which what that means is... If he gets hit, he has a better chance of surviving. It's protection for the ammunition. Okay. Here's my three Shermans. There's the wet stowage Sherman there. There's just a regular Sherman there and an M8 armored car there. And this is... Two gorillas. Well, the first thing we're going to do is button everybody the hell up. We don't need to take a 150 millimeter high explosive. <laughs> Jeez, that would be brutal. That would be brutal. Now, I don't know if they're considered if they're in my side arc or not. I have a feeling that they're not in my side arc. Am I in any kind of a terrain? No, I'm in the fields. Let's button everybody up. Okay, no doubt about that. We're going to direct fire with this commander. Gunner's here, so let me get out of this. And let me get out of this. And let me get out of that. And let me get out of this. Just give me a second. Give me one second, because if I do not do this, I am not able to access your comments. And we don't want that to happen. So we'll go to YouTube here. And see if this relaunches again. I don't know why the hell I'm on Bluetooth. Yeah, I can't see your guys' comments for a second, so... Uh, I apologize, but technology's wanting to... Oh, there it is. How how did the wet stowage work, actually? I think this is running currently. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if... Um, I really don't know. You'd have to look it up. I don't think that the rounds were actually in a liquid. Like, you know, but there there's something in there that has a... a there's something either in the hole or something that that keeps them from catching fire or exploding accidentally. Um, I'm not an expert on it, so um, I apologize. And again, I apologize if this current chat isn't isn't because um, the screen is frozen on this thing, so. Okay, um, so we got a couple of self-propelled guns. They're very lightly armored, but they carry 150 millimeter howitzers. So they probably aren't going to be able to hit me really well at long range. That's what I'm banking on. Um, and they basically just have HE. Um, okay, good. I did. I do have the top chat. Yeah, I'm probably going to look it up while I'm trying to go to bed tonight, though. Um, it's food for thought. We're going to direct fire, operate gun, reload, drive, pass, ammo, right. Um, I'm not going to rotate the hull this time. I'm going to leave it facing the way it is, and hopefully we can get a shot at one of these guys. And one of these is in the open. One of them's in Boken ground. I'm going to shoot, obviously, the one that's in, in the open. Okay, let's end the phase. We're not going to move. We're, we're going to have to rotate the turret, unfortunately. Okay. We're going to have to shoot target. We're going to have to select the target. Okay. That is the one that is in the... That's the one that's in...
Okay, that's the one that's in the um, broken ground. That's the one that's in the open. We're going to go to AP. HE would probably ruin their day too, but... We're going to select from the ready rack. We have a 26.3% chance of getting a hit. I have an 11.5% chance to land a hit on them. Missed them. Well, I do have two other Shermans with me. Okay. So let's see what they do. And 4A3 moves. Not enough to go to a new hex. And it moved, the other one moves as well. Direct fire, operate gun, reload, pass ammo. That's what I'm going to do. Without the turret rotation, I should have a better chance of hitting them. Forty-one point five, and they're still facing the other way. Missed. Well, maybe the other Shermans aren't so unlucky. All you got to do is land a hit on those guys, and they're toast. They're moving forward. One of them's now alert. Oh, they were sleeping around. Radio's broken down. I didn't try to use it. Lost rate of communication with your battle group. And headquarters. Okay. Same thing. Fifty six point five percent chance. Got a hit. It's probably I'm banking it's gonna hose them. Okay. Automatic, yep. Well, took care of him. M four eight three Sherman moves farther away. Okay. I don't know what they're doing, but I was spotted by the gorilla. Okay, he's only a terrain effects modifier of ten percent. So we're going to um, do the same thing. We're gonna sit there and shoot at him. Five percent chance, but a forty-five percent chance of rate of fire. I'm not going to use the ready rack ammo because I don't think I don't think that it is um, my hit chance is going to go up at all since it it's a point five. I have a feeling that that point five is like the minimum chance of doing anything, and. Um, yeah, let's fire at the target. Missed. Yeah. Okay, let's see what the other Shermans do. Greyhound moves. Okay. Alright, now let's see after not moving and having the target acquired. Now we'll use the ready rack. And now we will fire and see what it is. 31.5. I got a hit and maintained rate of fire. Is he haul down? No. I'm going to give him another round. Which got a critical hit. Okay. So I got one hit on the gorilla to the rear and a critical hit on the gorilla to the rear. I'm not going to fire again. Yeah. Okay. Tab to continue. Victory! Looks like the rounds were surrounded by canister filled with water and antifreeze. The rounds were moved to the bottom of the tank. Sounds like that stuff smelled. Hey, it's better than brewing up. Radios repaired. Excellent. And reestablished with the battle group. So it's like nothing happened. Completed the objective. Friendly forces have captured. Okay, what do we have this other zone over here? Another rescue. We're just going to power down this road. 
Let's do a Q. Let's do a recon. Strength zone is five. Who's in there? Supposedly. Any tank gun, armored car, tank destroyer. Well, we're going to go in, but we're going to go in with everybody. And we're going to unbutton everybody. And now we should be able to proceed. Ground has become wet. That's never good. Seven rounds of HE. I need to remember to check HE soon. No enemy resistance. Campaign day random event. What is it? Your crew feels a little less fatigued than before. Ah, uppers. We got some uppers. Caffeine, baby. Uh, enemy forces have captured multiple friendly held zones. So they capture that one that's all the way there towards the bottom. Well, I'm all the way up here. I'm not going to go down there to, to save it. I'm rescuing somebody else. I'm already on a rescue mission. And this is interesting because it looks like I'm surrounded now. But I bet I can still get supply. Let me check and see what the situation is on the ammunition. I'm down to 25 rounds of HE. Yeah, I need to request a resupply. Yep. And the enemy attacks my zone while I was waiting. Anti-armor support joins. I get a Hellcat. Yeah. My I hold down? No. All right. Well, we're going to turn. We're going to spot with him. We're going to operate the gun. I'm going to spot even though I can't see him there. We're going to readjust... Um, no point in him being crew exposed. He'll still be a spotting. And yeah, we'll let him spot for the time being. And we're going to pivot the hull. And the phase. And the phase. It's a 251 spot spotted by an allied unit. Hellcat took him out. Was transporting a Panzer Shrek team, which bails out of the vehicle. There's a Shrek team there at a range of two. I don't think he's going to be very effective at two away from me. That is 480 meters. I really don't think the Panzer Shrek team can do anything. But. We're going to button up, okay? We're going to direct fire. We're going to operate the machine gun. Yeah. Too bad. Full effect. See if anybody else joins in. Eight firepower. Destroyed. Excellent. Can I get it resupplied now? Yes, it arrives. Okay. We're going to apply save loadout. Accept and continue. We've captured multiple friendly held zones. Friendly zones, friendly forces have captured enemy held zone. Okay, we still need to do this rescue mission here. Um, <laughs> estimated four strength here. An armored car. I'm not going to do advancing fire. Okay? I'm going to assume that it's kind of true what they're saying. Let's make sure everybody is unbuttoned. Alright. And... We're going to 
proceed. No enemy units. That was the right call. All right. This is going to be nasty, whatever the hell it is. And as soon as, if I win there, it's going to advance the board again. Um, it's going to advance, well, not again, for the first time this time. So we're going to go E. We're going to do advancing fire. We're going to do all the above. Air support, artillery support, unit support. Proceed. I failed to hold the objective. Sure, they took it back over. I'm all the way up here. What am I supposed to do? Fired five HE rounds. Encounter enemy resistance, of course, because you got a guy that's a rescue mission. If there's nobody there, it wouldn't be a rescue mission. An M10's pinned down. Air support request. Got it. This is important. Trying to spot targets. A 105 howitzer. Interesting. The looks like a prime mover. It's a French prime mover. A ZKW 37 U 304. There's a mouthful. The little F in parentheses means it's a French vehicle. Been commandeered by the Wehrmacht. And a Vespa, which is a self-propelled 105, uh, 105 howitzer. Two P-51s, let's see who they like. They took out the 105 howitzer. They knocked out the half-track. And then we have artillery request. And there's a there's a unit that's right next to me that they haven't they haven't identified or anything. That's the one I'm worried about. It's an HMG team. That's good because I'm crew exposed. 105 howitzers. No artillery effect. I have a supporting unit. It's a priest. Okay, first thing we're going to do is an HMG team, button the hell up. Okay, what terrain are they in? Open ground. An HMG team. Oh, it says it's an HMG term, German support team. I wonder if it has anything other than just HMG guys. Let's see. Heavy machine guns, you distinguish by the size. Gain still highly effective against infantry and unarmored vehicles. Looks like he's gonna get, I'm gonna try to overrun him. So, according to the manual, overrunning is more effective with machine guns. So we're gonna operate MG. The loader is going to can't fire small arms while buttoned up. We're gonna stay buttoned up. I guess leave him on spot driver is going to drive and the assistant driver is going to operate the machine gun okay so we're going to pivot the hull okay and we're going to do an overrun attack okay that's the other guys that are doing that attack bow machine gun ready to fire Maintain rate of fire. Maintain rate of fire. Maintain rate of fire. I'm getting, that's four no effects, but got rate of fire at each one of them. Let's fire again. No effect. So he just fired five times and didn't do anything. Okay, what else have we got able to fire? The coax. Okay, let's see if this is effective. Yes, it got eight firepower and got rate of fire. It's higher up off the ground. The bow machine gun was too low, couldn't see anybody. No effect on the second one. What else do we have? Anything else? That's it. Oh, 
Tyler Sherman shooting as well. And 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 the priest is nailing it. Oh my God! Thirty-two firepower. He's got to be toast. Yep. Now we've got a Vespa behind us. All right. So, what terrain's a Vespa in? Brush. All right. He's going to direct fire. Going to operate the gun. Going to reload the gun. Going to drive. Going to pass ammo. Okay. Pivot the hull. I don't want to engage him at close range. He might have a hollow, limited amount of hollow charge rounds or something like that. They did make him for the 105, and I certainly don't need to take that. So I, I'm going to risk my chances out here. Um, I can attempt to hold down. 12% chance. I move into hold down position, which doesn't matter if you hit me in the turret, but... Okay, and... Let's see what the chances of hitting with, with an... It's got to be a low chance. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to end the phase. Wolverine moves. Okay, we're going to direct fire, operate gun, reload, drive, pass ammo. Got it. We're going to stay right here and try to engage him. See what the hit chance is. It's still 59%. Heavy range, small target, target and brush. Okay. We're going to um, just bypass it then. Seven priest moves. Wespa moves. Please move closer. I don't know if I'd call that closer. Now he's hauled down to my side. All right. So which means I'm gonna want to move this way. He's hauled down. down this spine. I want to try to push forward. I'm going to try to push forward. Just making sure I'd gotten all the messages I had. Okay, I don't want to miss any anything here that you guys may be saying here. Um, did I lose sound? Let's try this. Hope I didn't lose sound. Hmm. I don't remember if that menu, if the menu had sound on it or not. Well, let's hope that's not the case. Um, all right, what we're going to do? We're going to we're going to move forward. So we're going to direct movement because we want to make sure that there we go. There isn't movement. Okay. We're going to um, direct movement. We want to de definitely get a move on. Okay. We're going to operate the machine gun because we're not going to be able to hit with a freaking gun on the move. Not likely. He's going to drive. Pass ammo is fine. Yeah, whatever. Okay. We're going to move forward. <laughs> 
Okay, and I don't have the line of sights broken. The other Shermans didn't do anything? Do it again. Okay, I'm gonna fire the coax. Yeah, they still haul down, because even if I hit them, there's a 95% chance they'll be saved. Okay. I can hear you, and the game sounds also excellent. Um, continue. Maintain rate of fire, but did no effect. No effect. Didn't move a hex. Coax, nothing. Vespa moves. Okay, now we're definitely going to... We're still buttoned up, right? Okay, we're going to... Pivot the hull, and we're going to move forward. And we're going to fire the coax machine gun. No effect. See what the other Shermans do. That didn't penetrate. Priest moves. He fired, but looks like he missed. Okay, he doesn't have shit for armor. So now we're going to direct fire. Operate the gun, reload the gun. The assistant driver, I'm not going to have him pass ammo. I'm going to have him operate the MG. Okay. Bow machine gun. No effect. Okay. Well, I didn't think it was going to be very effective to begin with. Let's see what the AP chance is. Off the ready rack. 48.5% chance and a 30% chance of getting a second round off. Here he goes. Oh, he's probably toast. Point blank range with a 75 millimeter against the front of a Vespa. He's hosed. But I'm going to fire again. So two hits. Automatic, yeah. Vespa was destroyed. It really isn't a tank destroyer. It's just a self-propelled gun. You know. Completed the objective. Entered a new map. Okay, I'm down here at the bottom. There's 40% of a day left. And I have another rescue here. I don't know, I'm gonna... Let's just go down this road, reconning as we go. <laughs> Motorcycle team, we, we won't even advance fire with that. It could be wrong, but... Let's um, crew expose on that for now.
Counter enemy resistance. Well, there's one unit. I am in woods, and that's a line of sight blocked. Um, if I button him up, yeah, we're going to leave him. We're going to have him spot. We're going to have him spot. We're going to have the loader spot. We're going to button up the commander. He's got a bad feeling about this. Okay, and the gunner is going to fire the operate the gun. The other ones can see him. One firepower on an unspotted unit. No effect. Thought he might have moved. That's why I put everybody on that. Let's go ahead and have the driver drive, because we're going to rotate the hull. Motorcycle MG team spotted by an allied unit. Six firepower. Just barely missed him to get any effect. It moves. All right, we're going to operate the MG. We're going to button him up. There's a coax going to him. Full effect. Ten firepower. Destroyed. Okay. How we're looking on ammo. zone. What are the four supposedly? Medium tank infantry squad. Let's do the whole kit and caboodle. And seven rounds of HE. No enemy resistance. Enemy forces captured a zone. Not really sure where that is. We're going to keep going down this road. This road through the hills. E. Recon. <laughs> Support weapon team. I'm not going to request any support. Proceed. 3 HE. Nothing. No resistance. Okay, I'm going to keep going up here and then cut across this field over to this rescue. <laughs> Strength in zones of four. Heavy tank assault gun. 
I'm going to avoid the heavy tank because I ain't stupid. That would be stupid. Zones 3 over here. Oh, there's a minefield there, though. Landmines. I'm not going in landmines. Do I go for the heavy tank or the landmines? Let me um, let me consult the manual. How do I go to the next menu? Tab to cycle. Okay. Landmines. Landmines are present in the campaign day maps, and when a battle takes place there, then every time any unit on the scenario mark moves or repositions, there's a chance that it will trigger a landmine explosion. This may destroy units or immobilize vehicles. I'm going for the landmines. I mean, I could go in there and there could still be a, a heavy tank. <laughs> I'm going for the landmines. Um, with no unit support. I may need it on this last one. Let's make sure everybody's crew exposed. Six HE rounds, enemy resistance. Oh, great, they're point blank range. Shit. We're buttoning up. What am I in? Open ground. Unspotted enemy. We're definitely going to try to rotate the hull. At least get him in the front. So we're going to put this guy on operate MG. The driver's on drive. The loader might as well be on spot. And the gunner is going to be at. What if it's a freaking vehicle? I'm going to operate the gun because I can always give him a shrapnel round. And the commander, he's going to direct fire. Rifleman. Okay, we've got rifleman in. Go for the heavy tank. It's too late. I went for the minefields instead. <laughs> um. Rifleman that's pinned. Interesting. Okay, we're going to pivot the hull. And we're going to select the other target. Okay. And we're going to fire at the target with a shrapnel round. Got him with 20 firepower. Okay. I have a bow machine gun that I will switch to the spotted target so I have a better chance of doing something. No effect. And that's it. Rifleman spotted by an allied unit. We'll nail him. Twenty firepower on the rifleman. 
Hopefully that's the 20 firepower that I generated and my rifleman and the other one is the, the other one. Well, that one got destroyed. And 26 firepower on the other one. Come on, nail him. Destroyed him too. America. Yeah, look at that. Friendly forces captured zones. <sighs> There's landmines here, so I don't want to voluntarily go in here. We're going to do go E. Let's check the ammo situation. We've got 25 rounds, so we've got to be careful with the HE. I want to at least capture this, get this rescue. I don't really want to have a heavy tank dropped on my ass. If I can avoid it. So we're going to go E. We're going to do a recon. <laughs> Estimated strength is 7. Motorcycle team infantry squad, two armored cars. We'll do advancing fire and proceed. Uh, let's make sure that we are all crew exposed for the time being. A seven, huh? Let's do it all. Five HE rounds, encounter resistance. No air support. No artillery. But I got a unit support. Who would I get? A Stewart and a wet stowage M4A3 with a 76. Okay. Okay, these are... There's one visible here and one visible there. What am I in? fields. We're going to spot with the commander. We're going to operate the gun with the gunner. We're going to spot with the loader. Put the driver on drive. We're going to spot with the assistant driver. And we'll close his hatch. There's no reason for... He's not going to be able to see anything, so... Do I like that? Yeah, I guess I like that. Okay, rifleman all the way over there. Motorcycle MG team all the way over there. I don't want to change my hull. What terrain are these guys in? Fields? What is he in? Fields. All right. If these two guys are vehicles, I'd like my hull to be pointed the other way. So I'm going to pivot the hull. Not a good chance of going hull down, so I'm going to leave that one alone. Switch target. Can the HE even do anything? He's not going to hit him. No. Not doing it. That's a 250 slash 10. Okay. Which I believe has a 37 in it. Might be different. The Stewie moves. G team is over there. Four power firepower on the machine gun team and it got destroyed. Good. Rifleman moves. Oh, got destroyed by the The Sherman was destroyed?
by a 250 slash 10 with a 37 millimeter. Wow, he got lucky. That must have been a critical hit with him. Okay, and I don't have line of sight to him, do I? And he's hauled down to the front. That bastard. And I just still don't know what the hell's over here. Alright. We're going to direct... Let's make sure that that's... Yeah, it's, it's a 37. Okay. We're going to direct fire. We're going to operate the gun. We're going to button everybody up. Okay. Except the assistant driver. Okay. We're going to drive... He's going to reload, operate the gun, and he's going to direct fire. Move forward. with the chances to hit, but I ain't going to be able to hit anything with it. Yeah, it's got its HD 90... It's hull down. 95% chance of... What if I... What if I went and fired smoke at him? What is my chance to hit the target? Still really low. Well... The infantry's blocked, so I'm not even going to fire at anybody. Okay, there's another 250 slash 10 over there. Rifleman moves. Okay, now we're going to direct fire, operate the gun, reload, drive. We're going to hunker down. Pass ammo. Gonna fire AP at him. Mr. Kevin, there you are. Oh, but he's hauled down. He's hauled down. Well, it's the only target I have. No. We're gonna have to. I gotta remember that. I gotta move. Oh. Two fifty moves. And that one moves as well. And he's blocked. But this guy is not. So that's who we're going to switch our fire to. Operate gun, reload, drive, pass ammo. Got it. No. Not a chance to hit. I'm going to have to move. I'm going to have to move forward when it's time to move forward. Rains this infantry in. Fields? Let's switch to operate machine gun and direct fire. Forward. <laughs> Alright. And we're going to target that guy. The infantry. There we go. No effect, I didn't get rid of fire. Well, that's a shame. I still think that's the right play. Stuart moves. 14 firepower on the infantry. Got reduced. 
I was spotted by riflemen. 250 moves. They fired some machine guns that didn't penetrate them. Okay, well, what condition are these things in? I think I should need to just keep firing at the at this infantry. Maintain rate of fire, let them have it again. Maintain rate of fire. Maintain rate of fire. Maintain rate of fire. Boy. It's gonna take a lot. Oh, really? I'll destroy it. 250 moves. Well, we gotta pick one or the other. Who's this? This is an M3 Stewart. I gotta be careful. These guys have. Um, that one's hull down to the front that way, but he's out of line of sight. Um, we're going to operate the gun, reload. Okay. Seventy five millimeter head down. Gotta hit. Gotta be toast. It's the side of a half track. And it's a two range away, not three. Yeah. I don't know what the hell this 37's on this frickin' thing, but he's taking out two Shermans with it. It shook Charles Pepin. Who's that? The gunner? Oh, man. It's shaking Angelo. Just watched an interesting movie called Forgotten Battle. Yep. Nordic suggested to me, and I really liked it. Um, I'm going to make sure my front is pointed towards him. Direct fire, operate gun, reload, drive, yes. Oh, and I've got broken line of sight to him. That'll work. Although, he may end up taking out another Sherman. I'm now unspotted. Stuart moves. Hold down, but not hold down in the right direction. What do we do? do we do? Operate the gun. Let's reload. Let's drive. Pass ammo. We're going to move forward. 
Still don't have line of sight to him. The steward moves. It moves farther away. Maybe had up some special ammo. And um, I'm up late. Yeah, well, we got to finish this battle. Um, we we got to finish this battle. So we're going to... We're going to move, so you're probably not going to do anything. Let's go to machine gun. We're going to load drive. Let's direct movement. forward. Okay, let's see if the coax can do anything. Not in the weapons cover. Yeah, it's farther than two away. Can't do anything. End phase. Stewie. What terrain's he on? Fields? Direct fire. Operate the gun. Reload. Pass ammo. Got it. AP. See what the chances are to hit him. Oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. What are my chances to hit with white phosphorus? Let's fire white phosphorus. Missed. And the 250 withdraws from the zone. Victory. I've lost radio. Okay. Here's the predicament I'm in. I got enough ammo for the next battle. But I only have one Sherman. And I've got one more that's a rescue. So should I risk it? Or should we go home? We're going to go all in. I don't even want to know what's there. <laughs> Sherman side armor. Yeah, but they, what, they weren't facing the side. I don't know. Maybe just a lucky hit. I lose my radio a lot. I know. That's why I started making those electronics in, the, in Japan. <laughs> it's funny. The, probably the Japanese radios are... Yeah, it's definitely raining. Encounter resistance. Yep. Friendly light mortar team is pinned down. I only got one guy, but he's next to me. Let's see what it is. Nordic is back, so it's probably going to be a raping. No radio link. Oh, I didn't realize. Yeah, well, we still have to go in. Yeah, nothing. I do have a supporting unit. An M4A1 Sherman. What am I in? Broken ground. We're going to direct fire. We're going to operate the gun. We're going to operate the machine gun. And the driver is going to drive. And the loader is going to reload. Got it. Rifleman. That'll work. I mean, unless they get the shoot first. Nope. We're going to pivot the hull. And we're going to unleash hell on his ass. They're pinned. And I almost got a close assault them. What terrain are they in? Fields? I'm on operate gun, so. Twenty three point five.
missed. Bow machine gun. Got a full effect. Is there anything else we have? No, but there is another Sherman in that same hex. And he is pinned. So I, at least I did something to him and they were already pinned. Uh, end phase. My light mortar team is no longer pinned. It's not deployed. Ten firepower. Come on, get them. They're reduced. I wonder if they're still pinned. I was now spotted by the riflemen. They attacked me with rifles. Well, what's that going to do to me? I'm buttoned up. Resolving four firepower on me. No effect on crewmen. Okay, are they still pinned? Yeah, they're still pinned. And they're reduced. I'm going to operate MG. Direct fire. I'm going to drive. Operate MG. Got it. Overrun. Let's do an overrun on their ass. Fire the bow machine gun. No effect. That's not going well. The coax. Let's not break it. Yeah, I said it. Full effect and maintain rate of fire. Let them have it again. Full effect again. I think that's it. Forty six firepower. Um, they should die, and they do. Victory. I've reestablished radio communications with headquarters. Well, gee, isn't that great? And I got the objective. How's my, how's my ammo looking? What's this? I got to go through two landmine ones. Honestly, I think I would rather resupply. What units carried Panzerfaust? Infantry? Smart ones, exactly. You get hit by a Panzerfaust, it doesn't matter what your facing is. You're hosed. It's, it's just beyond deadly. Used to play advanced squad leader. is pretty much as bad as getting hit by... You get hit by a Panzerfaust, it's as bad as getting hit by like a 128mm gun from a freaking Yacht Tiger. I mean, it's just, you're, it's over. Game over. Um, so yeah, they're deadly if they happen to have it. So, however, you know they've you got to be within. I think that for didn't that forgotten battle they have somebody fires a Panzerfaust or no it was the it was the 1944 one they fired one from way too far away I'm like you need to hold on to that like a hundred feet away from somebody. Yeah, Panzerfaust is. You can't win against that thing. The only saving grace is it's one shot. I think we're going to try to do a resupply and then haul down this road. Uh, I just don't have the HE for it. Yeah. While you're waiting for resupply, the enemy forces attack by zone. Of course they do. Well, it's only one vehicle, so it's only one thing, so hopefully it's not a King Tiger, as Nordic would say. We're in wooden buildings, so there's that. Okay, assistant driver's going to spot 
driver's going to... We're going to put the driver on drive and button him up. He's going to load. And the turret guy is going to operate the gun. Okay, because he can't see out that far. The assistant driver can... Oh, I can't, I can't button him up. And I can't, I shouldn't button him up. We gotta spot that thing, whatever the hell it is. Because that increases the chance of my teammate doing something to him as well. Here goes. Heavy mortar. And we're crew exposed. See, heavy mortar to me means a 120, which is no freaking joke. Okay, perfect. We're going to button the hell up, and it's still no freaking joke, but we're going to advance to point-blank range. Uh, if you're engaging a mortar, the closer you are, the better off you are to it. Um, oh, and I get a movement phase? What is it in? Yeah, but the problem is, is I'm crew exposed. It's packed up, it says. German support team packed up. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to move forward. Let's see what the um, the odds of hitting him with the shrapnel round is. Nothing. Let's see what the odds of hitting him with a fight white phosphorus is. Better. WP to the face. WP to the face. Got him. The mortar team has been routed by the attack. Okay, that means they filled the morale. Routed and they're packed up. I have a feeling they shouldn't be able to put that thing together. Unfortunately, my driver was not on mo was not on shooting the bow machine gun, so we're done. Four firepower. Destroyed them. Ooh, so four firepower on. Oh, they're already the thing is. Yeah, yeah. Can I get my resupply now? Thank you. Uh, apply saved loadout. That works. Random event. Enemy zone. Estimated strength no longer certain. They've captured a friendly held zone. Infantry squad APC. Let's do advancing fire and go. Five rounds. No resistance in the area. Excellent. Strength in zone one. Tank destroyer. What is this, a rescue? A capture. Maybe there's nobody. Let's do advancing fire in case there's any infantry. Make sure we are crew exposed, everybody. Resistance. What is it? Well, he's behind me. Air support. I got air support. What is it? No target spotted. 
I got artillery. Spotting rounds from the priests. No effect. Unit support success. M4 Sherman. Okay, so the fact that it didn't do anything means it may be an armored vehicle. I just have to assume that that's the case. It does have a block line of sight. Um, so we're going to go ahead and spot. The gunner is going to operate the gun. The loader is going to reload. The driver is going to drive. The assistant driver is going to spot. We will button him up. We will button him up because it doesn't do any good if he's reloading. And um, actually, let's not reload him. Let's do a spot with him. Oh, it's a tiny little area. Okay. I only spot one to the front. Okay. And do that. And we're going to pivot twice. And what vehicle is this? A Sherman. Space. We're not going to fire at him. The Sherman moves. I'm going to bet it's a vehicle of some sort. So I'm going to switch to... Direct Fire. I have a 21.4% chance of getting hull down. Let's attempt it. Unable to get it. Still don't have line of sight to him. Attempt to hold down again. Move into a hold down position. Unspotted unit is now alert. Hull down in the trees. Sherman moves. Moves further away. Come on, spot that booger. further away. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. It is destroyed by an unspotted use unit using a 75L. So, it's a Mark IV or a Stug or a Martyr or a Jagdpanzer IV. Hopefully it's not a Jagdpanzer IV. That's got a, more armor than any of those to the front. Just says L. It doesn't say LL, so it's not a panther. If anything is an LL, it's a panther. Wouldn't the vehicle have been easy to see? It's it's blocked line of sight. Line of sight is blocked. And I'm planning on staying here. Um, he's going to have to move. He's going to have to move. Um, I wonder if I can fire white phosphorus at his ass. No. Unspotted unit moves. Yep. That's what I was waiting for. Well, I got the assisted driver spotting. Everything's where it needs to be. Let's see what we got. Jagdpanzer IV. It's exactly what I didn't want it to be. Exactly what I didn't want it to be. Well, we're going to have to charge him and, and flank him. Or, well, I don't know if he's seen me or not. He is in the open. One thing's for sure. I'm not going to move now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to 
gonna lay low and see if what my chances of hitting them are. I don't know if I'm spotted. Honestly. It says unspotted up here. So maybe don't shoot. It's unbogged itself. Uh oh. It says it's moving. But it's hunting me. It's moving off to the side. It doesn't even know I'm here. It's still moving. And I wasn't moving last time. So my chance to hit is going to be like half a percent. That's not good enough. That's not going to get us where we need to be. We're going to need a direct fire. We're going to have to direct fire buttoned up operate the gun no no we need a direct movement I mean he's already facing one hex or one direction away I need to try to capitalize on that <sighs> reload drive spot move forward I'm still unspotted what are my chances of hitting with smoke piss poor still in this hex I'm still in woods in the phase. I was spotted. Uh-oh. But he missed me. Holy smokes. How many smoke grenades do I have? I think I have six. I think I saw that somewhere, that I have six. I can't afford to be unbuttoned. I can't afford to be unbuttoned. can't do smoke grenade, can he? No. I move forward and I have a blocked line of sight. That's excellent. That's excellent. Doesn't get any better than that. Hopefully this other Sherman's in the same boat.
It's just me and him now. Destroyed the other Sherman. <sighs> it's shaking the crewman. It's now unspotted. You like the look of the Yak Panthers. I do too. I think they look cool. They don't have a coat. They don't have a whole machine gun though. So the only way that they have a gun is they have to get crew exposed and fire the MG34 through the little pintle mount. I think I got a model of one to build. Or maybe I sold it. I don't remember. I used to have one of 135th scale. So the question is, here's the two things I could do. If I stay here where he can't see, I could potentially get the jump on him. But he could move either in this hex or this hex. If he moves either laterally or farther away, it's worse. Because I am literally a moment from getting up to point blank range with him, which is what I'm going to have to do to his side to get to get him point blank just to, just to get him. I think I'm going to move forward. Um, we're going to operate gun. We're going to reload. We're going to drive. We're going to pass ammo. I don't care if you're shaking or not. It's time to step up, pal. As a model builder, I prefer the look of the German vehicles. Absolutely. That's why they make, everybody makes them. They're cool looking, even though they're Nazi bastards. And I think going to this hex is better than this one. I think this one's better than that one. Direct movement, yeah, we want to definitely get, get within the hex. Here goes everything. But he's unspotted. Well, I hadn't counted on that. Okay. Well, we need to select the, um, we move this over for sure. See what the chances of hitting the target is. Basically non-existent. Why does this keep defaulting off? Thought the MG was remotely operated. It may be. Are you thinking the Hetzer? Uh, they might both be. Um, that would be an improvement than sticking your freaking head out there, for sure. All right. What about? What's the chance of smoke hitting then? Twenty-nine point one. I don't think WP can do anything to it. It's enclosed. Let's see what it says in this game. Hit spot store stunned. Turret unconscious shaken. I'm going to assume that WP isn't going to be able to do anything to it. So I'm going to fire a smoke round at him. Because I can't hit with the AP. Is there a chance to hit with HE? No. Now there's no chance to hit with a smoke. Oh, because this it's the wrong one. This not smoke. This is smoke. Yeah, here we go. Missed. Well, this is going to be interesting. 
Okay, Nordic, it's your lucky day. It attacks me. It missed. It attacks me again? Oh, machine gun. Why I ain't gonna do jack? It got a hit. Come on. Yeah, impossible. Resolving one firepower. No effect on crewmen. <sighs> I got a... I got a direct fire. Operate gun. Reload. Drive. I gotta try to spot. I don't know how the hell he's not visible there. He's in flat ground. Definitely put him on drive because if I don't spot him, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna do something even if it's wrong. Yak pants are spotted. Tab to continue. Okay, I have a 35% chance of moving forward. I have no idea what the hell that's going to do. Well, here's the reality. I'm at point-blank range. He has a 75mm gun that's on the Mark IV. I know he can take me out at close range to the front, so I don't really care if I expose the side to him. Um, unless somehow I can pass through his hex and get up behind him, I, and I'm not sure that's what that would happen. I'm, I think I'm going to need to aim for this other hex up here. I think I'm going to have to do that. And I don't think I can do anything to the front of him. He's got the same armor like a panther does. I may be able to do something to the front of him. I could throw smoke grenades with the commander. I gotta get a shot on the side of his ass. But that means I'm gonna have to have a move and a rotation. I'm gonna try to move through him. I'm gonna try to move through him. I don't know what the I don't know what the commander helping move, but we're gonna need him on the fire for sure. Forward it is. have a 25.1% chance of hitting him. Definitely turn... Oh, escape. Um, ready rack. Um, attempt to immobilize? Yeah, I don't care. No, we need to, we need to hit him. I got a hit on him. I don't think it's going to be able to penetrate. It's not going to have a good chance. I'm talking about command decision. They've got four. They've got four. I believe they have fourteen four armor, the same way a panther does. Here goes. Impossible. I read that the field crews removed the muzzle brake because somehow it gave away their position of the Jagdpanzer. Probably it probably made more smoke, but also helped with a recoil. 
Well, I did want to move through the hex. I didn't think I was going to be able to penetrate the front. Attacks me. Yeah, I'm pretty much hosed. And got ready to fire. I didn't like this guy anyways. Missed. Okay. Good. You guys get to see what this is about. So, my tank was penetrated. I was destroyed. Okay. Resolving effect of knockout hit. The impact ignites an explosion in your vehicle, destroying it from the inside out. <laughs> oh. Commander, dead. Gu turret gunner, dead. Dead. Everybody dies. There you go. Hey, I got an achievement unlocked. All your crew are dead. There you have it. <laughs> oh man that's it shit happens don't get too attached to them you've been awarded oh I got another achievement a congressional medal of honor, honor for the uh, commander yeah, posthumously. And so did the gunner. Bronze star for the driver? I believe Matthews is the driver. Here's the final report. Thirty-two engagements fought. Captured 40 zones, got 31 gun hits, destroyed 34 vehicles, 5 guns destroyed, infantry destroyed, 4 combat days. I was surprised it was the Nashorn. The, um, I survived the Nashorn and the uh, Barn Door at point blank range. But that was a, the P 47's kit knocked him out before I got a chance to do anything. There you go. That's what it looks like, folks. Uh, Gordon Swanson. So I turned into a freaking TV dinner. <laughs> I invented the TV dinner. And uh, I now was the first flavor. There it is. Well, that's actually kind of nice that... Um, wanted the the movie to st the, the sound to stop um, that's how it is so when we come back to this we'll do another campaign but hey thanks for showing up and we still have not seen a tiger or a panther for that matter don't need it um, okay until next time folks hope you enjoyed it <laughs>